thank God when I was um, getting out that morning, my mom had actually met a lawyer while she was trying to bond me out of jail. And that's something that is like another miracle. My mom actually bonded me out of jail, you know? I mean, that was like, she said that she heard something in my voice that I was actually sincere when, when I was telling her that I was really tired of what I was doing, that she felt like that I was actually telling the truth. And I was like, whoa, you know what I mean? Because I had been lying for so long about everything, you know? So um, I go to this lawyer's office as soon as I get out because obviously I'm going to have to have a lawyer for a third DUI, felony conviction, driving on a suspended license. And it was a pretty serious charge, you know, here in Virginia. This lawyer says to me, he says, have you ever gone to a 12-step meeting? And I says, uh, yeah, but it didn't really work for me, you know. He said, I, I think you ought to give it another shot, you know. And somehow this guy just like rung a bell in my head and I was thinking, this is what I was really thinking. I was like, man, it's going to look really good in court if I get involved with the recovery process, right? So that's the first thing I did. I was all for it, you know. I was thinking I was going to get over and smooth things over once again because I was always a real good manipulator in these situations, you know. So I started hanging around recovery people and, and getting into the recovery process with no really real desire to, to change my life, just thinking this was going to look really good in the courtroom, you know what I mean? And, and that's, that's really what my, my biggest um, motivator was at that time. Well, it just so happened that my court date was like seven months back, and by the time I went to court, I was seven months clean. I was um, feeling like a new person. I really wanted what a lot of people in recovery had in their lives, which, you know, at that time I was seeing like a lot of material possessions and, you know, all that kind of thing. But, however, just, you know, being around and hanging around and, and doing the things that I have to do in recovery, uh, it really changed, changed me inside as well as um, outside, you know. And those material possessions, yeah, you know, I have, I have more material possessions today. I was actually, I'm actually able to run my own business today for the last three years. But, you know, the biggest thing that I get out of recovery these days is, is the peace of mind I have. Um, I've never felt more comfortable with myself. And it, it took a lot of work to get there. You know, I wasn't really willing to do what it took when I first got into recovery. But, you know, with some help from my sponsor, God, and, and my support group, you know, and, and, and um, just different, different things I get myself involved with, you know, service work, trying to help other addicts. It, it really makes me feel like a whole human being, and, and drugs never even did that for me. They just uh, gave me somewhat of an escape, you know, but I don't know. I mean, you know, life clean and sober, you know, in recovery doesn't really even measure up to the, my best high. I just always try to um, try to tell people, you know, hang in there, don't use no matter what, because, you know, that's what I did, man. I, I didn't really have the honest desire to change completely when I first got into recovery, but, but after being here for a while, it's just like, man, I just never really knew life could be whole for me like this. Before, just chaotic mess, you know, now serene, clean, you know, a whole person. And, and I don't even think I was ever that before I even picked up drugs as a kid. Now that I'm clean, I feel like I could do almost anything, to be quite honest. I mean, I, I don't have the limitations for myself that I used to have when I was using. And I've actually gotten remarried to someone that's in recovery. And, um, you know, I'm actually able to function in a normal relationship. And I thought that I would never be able to achieve that kind of compassion and understanding and, and um, you know, comparison with another person like that. And, and we're actually able to uh, bring, you know, 100% each to the relationship. And it's actually a really good relationship. Today I'm a cons more consistent person um, in my behavior, in my meaner. And, and I, I, um, I appreciate that, you know, and, and, and all things are possible with recovery in God, and I believe that to be true. 
I can I can speak from experience today that recovery can change an addict's life. You know, 100 percent a turnaround, 360. You know, it's unbelievable. And I've seen it happen in other people, so that's what's good. You know, I'm not the only one that this miracle has happened to.